Unreal, dude. Unreal. I think it's gonna be one of our best ever, I'm not gonna lie. It's gonna be a good one. Morning, Shark. Morning. What are you doing? What the? <laughs> I'm just uh, writing down some good questions to ask old Ricky. Ricky, Ricky, Dinky, Stinky. Give me two questions that you have for him. So he did motocross back in his day. You did motocross back in your day. And he got into a really terrible accident. So I want to ask him if he still does motocross. I'm debating on a couple of those, but I got one that could be fun. What is one piece of golf equipment you think every golfer should have? I'm also going to ask maybe potentially like kind of something a little deeper, like what's your motivation? Like, why do you do what you do? I got a good one. What's your favorite moment on tour? That could be a good one. <laughs> I hope Ricky says one of the pieces of golf equipment everyone should have is a towel, so all these guys will actually get a towel in their golf bag. <laughs> Quit using mine. Dude, that's funny, because I use this towel every single time I see it. How's it going? Good. Getting ready for a good day here, guys. It's a monumental day for for good good I gotta say. How did this kind of come to be? How did you get in contact with them and this, um, this Well, set up? Dave, Davis, one of our guys who helps manage good good and an agent on the, on the agent side who has the connections if you will, has Ricky Fowler's number and I have no clue how. But he texted him and said, the good good guys are gonna be in town, would you wanna film with them? And he said, yeah. I was putting a group with Ricky and then Ricky started texting me details about today and then that just started, like, didn't feel real. Today doesn't feel real, we get a chance to play with a great of the game of golf. I mean, not only, like, that's the thing, like, not only a great, but a guy who's, in my opinion, influenced the game of golf. And the younger generation, almost just as much as anyone, if not more than than most. It's gonna be really cool. It's gonna be really cool to play with them, ask them questions. That's what Matt's doing. What are you doing, Matt? I'm writing down questions. And I actually have, a, I have some questions too. Um, I really want to ask him what's his favorite moment in his golfing career. <laughs> yeah. I was yep. gonna say. I made that joke already too. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, do you like golf, Ricky? All right, we'll go over to their car and see. I think they're filming right now. We're going to Florida boys for a day. All right, y'all, so we have made it to Florida. We are now heading to the Airbnb, <laughs> and we are on our way to film with Ricky Fowler at The Medalist. Boys are pulling up. We're actually, for the first time ever, we're actually like game planning ahead of time, which feels good. Morning, boys. <laughs> Morning. Oh. Boys are here. Matt just pulled up this picture of him. That's how he went to school, apparently. Yeah. I did, I wore that to school, and uh... It wasn't Halloween? It wasn't Halloween, it wasn't what? anything. I was just kind of like, <laughs> you know what? Let's wear it. I, you know, it, somehow, we went to, I think it was a PJ Superstore, and I've been looking for orange pants for a long time. They had one pair, and it was a size too small, it was a size 28, okay? I know I was skinny back then. I was trying to find an orange hat, and it was tailor-made, Somehow I found one in the PJ Superstore. One orange hat, one pair of orange pants. I got them both, and uh, I treasure that moment forever. What's up, Ryder? How you What's doing, up? brother? How you doing, brother? <laughs> no, man. Oh. Oh. There's a reason they don't make quesadillas aside from kids' meals anymore. They're easy. For, for those sure. wondering what, uh, what goes on behind the scenes, <laughs> this is it. They're arguing about quesadillas or something. Do you like high tops? You could prefer boots. Boots. Thank you. He's the only human I've ever met who likes high tops. I don't yeah. get it. You gotta golf today. I'll hold the door. Don't. No uh, risk injury. You. you gotta hold the camera today. Yeah, it's a good point. No, no, go for it. No, go for it. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, go for it. Okay, go ahead. We're in Duncan. The guy behind the counter asked if we did YouTube, and I said yeah, and he goes. He said hi. So Ryder's gonna go interview. If you had to guess what these guys do for YouTube, what would you guess they do? What kind of videos do they make? Food reviews. Welcome back to another Good Good Food Review video. In today's video, we're out here at Dunkin' Donuts and we're gonna review a Dunkin' Donut. I actually like that, Jim. Now, we've honestly we've never been to this Dunkin' before. We've yeah. been to a couple of other Dunkin's and the donut quality's obviously been pretty solid. I believe the last one, if you guys saw in episode 13, we actually reviewed cake donuts and it was actually phenomenal. They did a really yep, great job. True. But now we've got a couple of choices. We've got a chocolate sprinkle and a vanilla sprinkle. I mean, you're obviously you're gonna be digging into the chocolate one. I'm gonna be taking the vanilla on, uh, on a little stroll down Mouth Town. Yeah, I would. <laughs> and we're just gonna That's get into cool. it. 
I think the sprinkles are divided amongst the donut pretty well. Um, See, it looks for like me, you're kind no, of lacking for me, on section I'm C. Lacking on yeah. section C and D. C could use a little bit more sprinkles, but no. you also don't want the donut to be too sprinkleized to where yeah. you don't really get that flavor of the icing. You know right, exactly. Saying? Yeah, because then the icing flavor doesn't come through enough. We're going to take a bite at the same time and give ours a 1 through 10 rating on taste. Right. It's honestly pretty solid. You can definitely tell that the donut, like you said, has been sitting out probably since 7 a.m. Right. So that, that quality of freshness that you would expect from Dunkin' isn't quite there, but it's still a pretty solid donut. I'm gonna give it a 7.1. I was gonna go 7.8, believe it or not. Yeah. Thank you guys for staying tuned. Uh, can't wait to check out Krispy Kreme in episode uh, 47. Yes. It's gonna be one heck of a ride. We'll catch you in the next one. Well, everybody, we've made it to Medalist. Um, I think we switched up the uh, the video. I think originally we were gonna do a 2v2v2, um, but we switched it to a 3v3, me, Bubby, and Ricky on one team, and then obviously Quan, Steven, and Garrett on the other. As far as the vlog goes, the content, it'll be some more behind the scenes kind of stuff. Maybe we'll we'll get some extra like interviews and we'll kind of ask them some more questions. We might throw that on here, but as far as like the actual playing, maybe you'll see a couple of shots, maybe not, but it's just gonna be kind of behind the scenes stuff. So just stay tuned for that. This is for the vlog, explain the the cameras we got going on. What's the oh stuff? man, we got some cameras out here today. More than usual, because we got Ryder and Michael also on the cameras. We're rocking the main cams. We got the Canon XF605s, getting all the zoom angles. And then we actually, Max recently got an FX3 that he's shooting some B-roll on. We got Ryder on B-roll. We got a lot more going on than we usually do, but we're gonna get a lot of coverage today, which is gonna be good. There's uh, there's Matt over there practicing the intro. Channel. Really, really special to have you here. You guys are probably wondering, what's the format for today? Well, it's quite simple. Let's get right into this thing. Are you excited? So I'm going over my intro, everybody. If you didn't know, this is what happens. Obviously, I'm a little more nervous because it's Ricky and I want to make sure that the intro is solid. So I'm going over it in my head, trying to figure out what to say, what not to say. This is the man knows victories. Also, three international victories for this young man. The one and only Ricky Fowler. Everybody give it up. Ah, That's Ricky. great. That's great. And then great. I'm going to be like, Ricky, it's an honor to have you on the channel. I've been following you for a long time. It was fantastic to watch you win the players. I've watched you win so many amazing championships and it's amazing. Damn, I'm nervous as shit. <laughs> there we go. Is that wide enough? That works. What do you think of shooting that here today? Well, seeing that I've never seen any of you play. I shoot six or seven. Okay, on there six or seven. Yeah. doing good good extra folks we're having a beautiful day out here filming a good good video if you guys haven't already please hit that like button please hit that subscribe button got some crazy things coming y'all's way from the good good channel and good good extra let's get right back to the video good fun mm -hmm. with good speed i think as a player you're trailing by five shots with six holes to play warrior like under armor with jordan mm -hmm. I think I've kind of said it, but this one's gonna be a little bit different. There's just a lot more to go through and search through. Getting the coverage is a lot better than not having the coverage. In this video, we definitely are, which I think is gonna, I think it's gonna be one of our best ever, I'm not gonna lie. It's gonna be a good one. It's a good match. It's... But Ricky just... How are the boys so far? What'd you expect coming into today? I honestly didn't know what to expect. I mean, I knew, you know, Everyone played golf. I wasn't worried about you know us getting around, having a good time, but probably better golf than I was expecting. I, like I said, I, I didn't know what to expect. So damn good time. Um, you know, unfortunately we're only out here for nine. It's gonna start getting dark here soon. Could have been a full 18-hole match, but maybe round two. Unreal, dude. Unreal. It was a fun day overall, and it was a beautiful day. It was a surreal day. It really was. Getting to watch Ricky play in person, up close in person, you know. Shout out to Ricky. Thank you to him for coming on the channel. What a day. What a day. It's pretty cool watching a, a tour player of that caliber, like right in front of you. Some of his good shots were, were pretty good. I'm gonna go. Yeah, it's quick. just, it was such a cool day. It was yeah, so cool. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video of this vlog and then tomorrow is when the uh, the big match is gonna be uploaded. So stay tuned, we're not gonna give it, give it away, but it was a good match, that's all I will say. Shout out to Ricky, he's on the West Coast swing right now. If he gets a dub, that'd be, that'd be insane. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, if you did, stay tuned. More content, go to Good Extras channel.